guys, today I'm just making an easy um, egg with some tomato um, sauce. So it's just two tomatoes diced in half and then chopped like this with just three chilies, green chilies and one um, garlic clove chopped up roughly that you can see and just half a tablespoon of salt but again you can do it salt to taste and I'm just um, making this for breakfast it's a very easy and delicious um, breakfast that you can just have with toast or bread or naan and I'm just going to go ahead and let that fry a little bit more and then add my two eggs so the ingredients that you need is just two tomatoes diced in quarters and you're gonna add that in to two tablespoons of oil with half a tablespoon of salt and once it starts boiling up and frying like this you're gonna go ahead and add the garlic which is just one garlic and you're going to add as many chilies as you want as much as spicy as you want it really depends on how spicy you want it I like it a bit spicy so I've added three um, green chilies green Thai chilies so this is kind of the consistency that you want because I like my eggs sunny side up to be watery so I don't want most of this water to be um, dried out because this is the water that I'll go ahead and um, have my eggs cook in so that they stay sunny side up and the trick is to keep the top of the pan open and let the egg whites cook first and then close the top for about a minute to 30 seconds to get the egg yolks um, to harden just enough so that they're soft but not too runny at the same time. So right now I had the heat up to 3 um, because I wanted to simmer really fast but now that it's becoming the consistency that I like this watery tasty curry consistency I'm going to bring the heat down to 2 um, and then go ahead and add my eggs. So I've gone ahead and added my two eggs and now what you can do is you can position the egg slowly just go like this and position it further down into the curry. So I'm going to let it simmer like this for about a minute and then I will cover the top. This is just so I can get the egg whites to cook a bit faster because usually the egg whites cook slowly and then once I cover the top the um, evaporation of the steam or water into the top of the pan lid will help the egg yolks to cook. So the trick is to first kind of let the egg whites cook a bit and then cover the top and let the egg yolk cook. So I've gone ahead and covered the top and I'm going to keep it covered for about a minute and just come and check in between if you do not want the egg to be too hard make sure that you don't have it covered for too long but if you want it to be hard you can leave it covered for a minute and 30 seconds and then it will be hard enough so I'm going to keep it covered for about 30 seconds and then come and check and see if my egg yolk is cooked enough so that I can stop the heat and my heat right now is still at 2 so guys it's been 30 seconds and voila look at that look at how gorgeous it looks so I'm gonna go ahead turn off the heat take it off the heat because I do not want it to cook any longer and let it cool off for about another minute and then we are ready and at this point my egg yolk looks gorgeous because I'm just tapping it a little and it's bouncing back which is exactly what I like and you're ready to go ahead and serve it guys here we go guys and I like to serve it in the pan because this is called a one pan egg deliciousness so it looks gorgeous it smells gorgeous and it's going to taste delicious so guys an easy recipe to follow so if you have any questions don't forget to message me and I'll be more than happy to answer you